so i'm sure you must have seen a lot of videos talking about the struggles of being short i know i have but what happens when you're short and also an asian growing up in an asian family where i was used as the unit of measuring height i can successfully say that short asians go through a whole different genre of struggles which you've probably never even heard of for all the non asians wondering what do you mean unit of measure let me break it down for you so whenever my parents wanted to measure something they used me as a measuring tape and i'm not even kidding i remember this one time when my mom wanted to buy a new rug for the house because she felt like the old one was too small or something and when my dad asked for the dimensions of the rug the size of the rug she simply goes just bring it in a size two times of nana which is me and i remember thinking at that moment so this is what my life has come to and you know what this isn't even the worst experience that i've had during my school days for some goddamn reason all my classmates they wanted to shove me into these tiny spaces whenever there was a small space let's say like a carton box or maybe even a locker their brain would probably go like hmm hmm would nana fit into this and then they proceed to shove me into whatever it was and i know what this sounds like and no i wasn't this wasn't because i too would be curious on whether i'd fit if i'm being totally honest after i got a bit older the shoving part reduced and they got curious about a different thing which was whether they could lift me up i remember my classmates and even my juniors being like you're so small i could lift you up easily or you're so tiny i could carry you around all day and i genuinely hated these comments but looking back if someone was to say that to me now i'd probably take that as a compliment or it's smack them in the face depending upon my mood basically this just goes to saying that these type of comments they don't bother me anymore but there was this one incident that took place not too long ago and i don't know whether i should be happy about it or whether i should be sad you be the judge of that so there was this street festival that once took place in my city where they basically closed down a whole street and set up different shops me and my friends we didn't have anything better to do so we obviously decided to go so we were there laughing talking having a fun time basically minding our own business and when i suddenly hear this creepy ass dude's voice from behind one thing to remember is that me and my friends we were walking together but we were walking in a vertical line rather than a horizontal line because the area was too crowded for us to be actually walking together so this meant that all my friends they were walking in front of me and none of my friends were walking behind me and i hear this dude's voice from behind who's passing all these comments he's trying to hit on me basically and he's using the most cringiest pickup lines that i've ever heard since i was in no mood to entertain him i just kept on walking but the douche he was he wouldn't quit so he kept on following me around and he kept on using the same pickup lines at one point i was like okay this dude is ruining my mood so i'm going to turn around and give him a piece of my mind so i turn around to face him and i realized i kid you not this guy was actually a kid he was probably 12 or 13 and i know that 12 and 13 year olds aren't actual kids but they aren't old enough to be hitting on someone and they're certainly not old enough to be hitting on me and mind you i was 19 at the time and that piece of little not that i was of his age i cannot even begin to explain the embarrassment i felt i literally got hit on by a kid and the worst part he didn't even believe me when i told him i was a lot older than him but being treated like a kid isn't all that bad i was the most polite and cherished kid in my family i never had to do any chores never had to even lift a finger when my siblings had to slave away well not really but kind of looking like a kid also made me look innocent all my teachers in school always thought that i could do no wrong which basically meant that i got a free pass every time i messed up and i also sometimes find myself enjoying childish things i like playing on the swings i get excited when i see a cute stuffed toy i mean who doesn't and i also make a mess while eating i don't know if this is because i've been treated like a kid my whole life or if it's just my personality even though being an adult trapped in a kid's body isn't always fun 
It sure has its benefits. I could act as childish as I pleased and no one would even bat an eyelash at me. Also, imagine being 50 and looking like you're 30. Not to brag, but that would be pretty dope if you ask me. Being short makes you look younger. But when you're an Asian, it makes you look like a literal kid. Even though you're a full-fledged grown-up adult.